Well, guys, let's go. Shirt is very soft rides. There's nothing to say. Good mud. Guys, I'm driving now where we carry up test drives. Look, it seems like it has such a light ground here, but the footprints here are just mine. Heat beneath us. You yourself see. In principle, this road only for sure. like this. It is hard enough to ride a shirt here. And sometimes can even stick. Why I told you that here we have a good enough platform for test drives well I kinda went pulled away from the peak trap because the track here has already been cut more than once and I try not to break it again and therefore here it is quite difficult to drive. Hot, need to turn on the extractor fan. So, we got out on more or less solid ground. This is again, my track. As you can see for yourself in principle, few who can pass through here. Heat is also below us. Almost no bottom. There are floating islands here. You can see for yourself, here's a look guys. For many all-terrain vehicles such as Argo, such floating islands become an insurmountable obstacle. He pushes them in front of him, but he cannot drive on them. 
I had both Max 4 and Mud Ox, and they were all completely helpless here. Now let's go somehow like this. That's all, on Max 4 and on the Mud Ox, I drove up, guys, like that, to the floating islands and just pushed them. Well, and many all-terrain vehicles with bald wheels will do this. And everything, I just stood and could not climb in any way. Look what Sherp is doing, he is idling. He just driving on these islands. Well, that is Sherpa's advantage. We are currently idling. Driving along the beaver trail. This beaver trail probably leads to the table. They make tables on the banks, where they eat trees and stuff. We are not only here driving without making any effort, but we can control drive in this mud. In these islets, bumps, well, this is not land. It is just floating islands, bumps. You see, she each lives her own life. We are redeeming them now. Disperse the fish. Okay, let's get out of here. Closer to shore. So that the pollen does not fly in. I connected the extractor fan. And everything is squeezed out by excessive pressure. Actually, you saw. What can Sherp? Guys, as I said, Sherp is absolutely not afraid of some kind of water. 
Sherp is not afraid of water at all, and here we can calmly take and go to bed, throwing an anchor. Right on the water. You can sleep right on the water. By the way, he said that the waterline of the Sherpas is higher than the tank cap, this is not so. The lid of the tank sticks out above the water, and this is still the wheels are not fully inflated. If you like the video, please like and write a comment.